Hey guys, Brad the Builder here. As you can see, I just launched my airboat, but I'm waiting for Andrew Flair to show up. I'm going to surprise him because I've told him to meet me at this parking lot. He doesn't know that I'm going to take my airboat upriver to show him a cabin that I had remodeled, and it's very similar to the size that I'm doing for him down at his ranch. So when he shows up, he thinks he's getting in my truck with me, and I'm going to get him on the airboat. So stay tuned. I don't know if you've been on an airboat before, but you're gonna enjoy what we've done. I've built kind of a super-sized airboat. It holds nine people, lots of horsepower. I think Andrew's gonna be in a surprise. He did ride on it this winter, and it broke at that time, and so since then, I've gotten it fixed. I did not send him the bill. I ate that one, so let's see what he has to say when he finds out he's going on an airboat ride today. What's up? Yeah, a little surprise for you today. Okay. You and Jake, um, since we're gonna go up river, yeah. you know, I wanted to meet you all right together. Yeah. But you're gonna need these. Really? Yeah. Are we airboating today? We're airboating today. Let's go. Got some yeah. for you too, Jake. Oh heck yeah. All right. I'm so excited. uh is it is it fixed? You fix the boat? I fixed the boat, but uh, I ate I, I ate the bill for that did, one. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, last time we took it out it didn't go quite as planned. What was that? You blew a belt. Wow. I did. Oh, Man. no. Yeah. I, I haven't driven it since. Oh, really? So, fingers crossed. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm not so, bad luck, Brian. No, no. Break yeah, it. Yeah. I knock on some wood. Yeah, there, all that's right. it. That's yeah, all you need yeah. right there. So, let's hop in. I got it okay. all loaded up, ready to go, pointing right. in the right direction. You're going to like it. All right, let's do it. Okay. Airboating on the water is a lot more fun than going on land like we did last time. All right, everybody's on the boat, ready to go, but make sure you all turn your hats around. Put so it, put them in sport it's not mode. that we're going fast, just this blade, it wants to suck them right off. So make sure you're all in your seats and got your cocktails and we sure. should be there in 25 minutes. All right. I'm excited. Headphones, let me start this beast up. Fire in the hole. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Your boat Brad was in full force there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good thing. Getting it. So this house here, guys, I thought why I brought you up here, Flair, is that this thing, we'll get inside, you'll see how high where the water was. And um, I have some pictures to show what it looked like before. Gotcha. On the river, you know, once once this river takes your house, you can't rebuild. It's in a floodway. Mm. So your house. We need a match and then we don't have to rebuild it. But yeah, we're, we're, yeah. it's salvageable. This thing was a total disaster. You'll be so surprised how cool it turned out. So they had a budget. They didn't really have a budget, I should say. They, they, kinda, they, they didn't have a budget? Yes and no, but they, they took it up a few notches. Okay, so okay. maybe we'll steal some ideas out of this one. Yeah. Who wants to be the guinea pig to see how deep it is over I'll there? I'll do it. I was going to say, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, it's not? We're going waist deep. It's, it's, it's all, well, it's you know what? Deep. I'll just put the nose up on the, on the, on the yeah. bank. Phew! 
Okay, so we've, we were able to tie up the boat right next on the shore. So we're up here checking out the cabin. This is the one I've been telling Flair about that we've totally redone. This and, is the, because uh, we're talking about the ranch cabin, whether yes. whether we light the, a match or not. And you said don't because I have a cabin that flooded that now looks good. Yes. And so, I, I, I'm a visual guy. I can't read. So yeah. he took me to a, he took me to the cabin so I could visually see what you can take a cabin that probably should have taken a match. Right. But you bring in Brad the Builder and yeah, turns we breathe a whole bunch nice. of life into it. You decide yeah. how we turned out. You'll, you'll be the judge. In this okay. Show. All right. So we didn't really do much to the outside. We added this screened in porch. It was just a porch and we screened okay. it all in. Nice. You know, out here you can see we got a lot of bugs and gnats and so. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. How I know. I wonder if we should do. I mean, we see can always that do wood? something like this. Do you this. recognize that? That came out of my uh, out of your warehouse. Out of my warehouse. Really? All that reclaimed wood, and yeah. we have a bunch inside as well. Oh, remember on your house, we come out off the back. Yeah, of yeah. Porch. There's a porch just like this on the cabin. Right. So, so how we do, much, can we do the same thing? I was gonna say, how much do you think it would be to that just screen, screen was that cheap. in? We just bought huge rolls. Matter of fact, I bought rolls for this uh, this job yeah. and we packed it away so good that we couldn't find it so I had to buy another roll and since then I found it. Mm. So you have so some. So I have some. Oh you have yeah, some. I have some. Yeah. Oh. All but, right. So what's different yours I mean you have steps up in your house we raised the whole deck so we can yeah. either just keep it e economical not build a deck. Yeah got and it. And screen it down to the ground. Down to the right? concrete. Right. But I this see. is about the size of your yes, overhead. I, like this this almost exactly I, see, I like this a lot. Yeah, you already have the Because it, it gives it a more livable, I mean, clearly, like a yeah. more livable space. So we, we hung this big bed swing yeah. uh, off here. And we, we did a privacy wall because there's neighbors. That's ah, why we did got this. It. Got it. They have no neighbors upriver. So yeah. they can nice. sit in here and not see anybody. Hmm. See, I didn't so. even consider screening it that fortune until now. No. Now that I see, like, how it feels cozy, like it feels yeah, like yeah. a room. We'll be out there in the summer and yeah. the bugs aren't getting you while we're cooking and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like and then you this. can put your grill outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. it back Grill in. outside and come back. So we could leave that porch the same way so yeah this is they have two entryways you know the river side and then the front door side but i gotta show you pictures i hope my pictures show up on for the viewers yeah because this the, the water the you're talking about the water was literally this high inside really? this thing and it was mud and so this was the kitchen where the couch was okay and oh, um, the, the old kitchen the was old here kitchen. it was the really? size of this couch it had a sink and refrigerator it was nasty and then a little tiny wood burn stove yeah no air conditioning yeah but I told them when you come in, you know, you, you've got to come into like a living room. Yeah. So we pushed, we moved the kitchen back here. Look how big this, this yeah, thing is this only. This is huge. This is massive. I think this is about a hundred square foot bigger, maybe about the same size as your cabin right now. So this yeah, has. This, this feels way bigger. Look than how that. huge this kitchen yeah. is. It's a huge kitchen island. Yeah. We got, um, there's even a walk-in pantry behind that door. Shh, of course there is. So yeah. He's a big yeah, walk-in pantry Yeah, he loves the walk-in yeah. pantries. Yeah. Well, I think when you're coming out here, you know, you're so far away. True, no, true. From, from all the, the groceries. Yeah. This, this yeah. these cabinets aren't enough. No, you know? no, so, I agree, I agree. So we put a walk-in pantry. Wow. Um, there's this there's is... no basement because uh, but there's a crawl space. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then wow. very this, similar to yours. You see the yeah. recognize this? This yeah, is more, some more, more of the reclaimed wood. Yeah. And I did the same thing. We uh, we had to run it. We opened up this wall, so that's same, a header. Same idea we were talking about. Carries, mm -hmm. Well, about. exactly. That's what we want to do in yours. So your living room, we would have this open, and then there'd be a, like a little bar top, and look down into your sunken. Yeah. TV room. Yeah, you, got you it. Grabbing that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so that that's sense. we make it look cabiny, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we didn't want to have a lot of drywall, so we put in all wood ceilings. Yeah, I like that. Of it. I like that. So they really upgraded. And here's the flooring. Remember, we talk about LVT or LVP. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is LVP. Looks luxury vinyl plank. Yep. So plank floors. Looks like wood. It's you know the maintenance of it's wood though. Bulletproof, pretty yeah, much. That's I, mean, what I need that. Yeah. You know, they got kids coming and going. Here's something that, that they wanted. They had a, a walnut tree and they kept a live edge. Then we also built a cabinet out of it. Some trees that I think they came from their family. So we even had a guy, see this little nice little wood edge on there? Yeah, that's, that's all cool. their stereo equipment. We're really confined for space. Yeah. So it feels big though. Doesn't it? Like my cabin, I feel like it feels like this. This feels large. We're going to make it feel bigger. I mean, your ceilings are higher. Yeah. So look, I can touch these ceilings. Yeah. They're not, I think they're not even eight foot tall. No. So. Yeah, it feels very big you've though got for the, the space. So that's their door coming in from oh, the, the, the front entry. But I think they, I don't know how much they use it. They just kind of doubles as a window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Leave the door open. Some natural light. So down the hallway, remember this house, it did not have heating and air conditioning. It okay. didn't have a, a big refrigerator. It didn't yeah. have a stove. Got so it. we added a laundry room. Check out this. Oh, this wow. Bathroom. The bathroom doubles. Sheesh. 
So in this, it's nice for my house. Is, Look at this. Yeah, we've got we added a beautiful sink. It's kind of tight, but they had. Uh, you still have a lot. Yeah, we have a, a big shower, and then all we did the same thing. We did the um, shiplap on the on this. Yeah, but behind this door, also. I'll turn. I'll get out. Is the the washer dryer. So there's not room for a whole laundry room, but we keep it. If yeah, it's, it's still tucked away. You, yeah, you get one. Yeah, nice. Two bedrooms. Look at the bunk beds. I've never seen the triple. The, the triple bunk. That's what we yeah. need. We need the triple. I didn't know they made that. But you got to do this. Yeah, yeah. banjos. Here's, here's you got to measure a, that. A few banjos. In I, yeah, there. you'll get in there. <laughs> It'll be all right. Yeah, you'll get in there. Just don't wake up. Yeah, just suddenly don't wake up. I like the, I like the triple bunk though. That's cool. So I we, mean, this isn't much different size than your bunk room that's in yours. No, it's maybe close. a little bit wider. But if we get rid of that closet, it's about the same space. About the same space. Yeah. This this room is probably the same size room that you had right off your kitchen. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, this is nice. So like then this. this was the master. I don't know. Look at this. They have a king size bed, and these aren't really big bedrooms. No. But I was able to give them a closet there. There yeah. and a closet here. I think this thing is like a little over six or I think it's 700 square feet. Okay, in total. Yeah. And the, I mean, I build houses the is, where, the, is the ranch, what's the ranch? Do, you, do we know? I, I measured it all up and I forgot to do the math on okay. it. Okay. Well, like, it's well, not it's much bigger. It's got to be close, yeah. Because um, you have, this is a square. You yeah. have a little weird angle and, and maybe we can even, if you need to add another bedroom, we could square it up. Yeah, and yeah. Get you got two it. bedrooms. Well, you have that loft. We have the loft. That's like a bunk room. Yeah, yeah. But you have mm -hmm. a little higher ceiling. Yeah. This is, so, a, it's definitely, it opens my eyes to what's possible. Like, I look at ours and it's like, it's just too small. Let's just go build something bigger. But it's like, you took something that should have been burned down yeah. and tore out. And, I mean, this is to sometimes it's totally it's, livable. Cozy, like, cozy homes, you know, yeah. I mean, it feels inviting, right? Yeah, no, I like this one a lot. Uh, this is sweet. We had to bring everything in. All, yeah. We shelled it out, started with just the walls. Yep. And uh, rewired and... We did everything. I mean, everything. So, matter of fact, this is the furnace room, is what this is. So, when we put a furnace oh, okay. room in, nice. you have to make room for all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because it's a closet. little cabin, I mean, they're just using on the weekends. There's not a lot of clothes. Oh, no, so yeah, you don't need to store anything. T shirts and shorts. So, I like that. You know, huge hot water heater. It's very efficient. This is so nice that they use it year round. Nice. Love it. Plug in the wood. We have a little attic space because there isn't. We didn't even change the roof pitch, but we, you have to get up there and you know, insulate and um, I think. There's a lot of duct work that comes through, so. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, so full so heat, full AC. Full everything, yeah, thermostat. Yeah, It's it. really super insulated, it's very efficient. I was real tickled that they could get an island this big. This it's is huge. It's huge. Four, like this. Little, four foot, I think four foot by maybe six or seven feet. Yeah, like this, is, this, so this is massive. You I like got this. five people sitting around it. I feel like we so can make up good. for the lack of kitchen space by doing the outside thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Screened in and screen give yourself in. an outdoor kitchen Out, area. An outdoor kitchen. Yeah, so outdoor. then you don't have to use that inside one as much. So we're not we're not gonna light a match. No, Matt, I don't no think any match. matches. Okay. No. No but excavator we, demolition. I am hearing how we get the stink out. I think it's the pee traps are, are drying out on those, aren't yeah. they, Mike? It would have been nice if you flushed the toilet like four or five times before you showed Before you showed up. Before you showed up. I, had a, no, I had to put, <laughs> it through, put you through the smell so motivate everybody oh, to get it fixed. Yeah. You, you wanted to be the full experience. Because you would have been like, it's not that bad. We yeah. don't need to do much. It's like, no, it's bad. It's really, really <laughs> bad. Yeah. We'll get it fixed up, though. Okay. Well, but there's, we can breathe a lot of life into that. If you're excited about this, yeah, we can make it look cool. Maybe I can get your budget up a little bit more because 20 you grand. Need more, you need more budget? Yeah. All right, take up, take away Macy's hot <laughs> bathtub. Bath yeah, we got to take away something shocker, from the house. Shocker for, quote from the builder, we need more money. Yeah. More money. yeah. Or like Jake said, let's just build stuff out of Brad's warehouse. That's, what, that's what I'm thinking. Awesome. It'll be, it'll, we, don't care, we don't care if it matches. It'll be the house that Brad built, like Jack built. It'll be all <laughs> <laughs> the house. Well, I hope you guys uh, like this house tour inside, but we're, we're going to keep things going since we've done the tour. We yeah. need to go have some hot dogs and some cocktails and yeah. some games on the river. I'm excited. So yeah. we can give you the full river experience. Yeah. Perfect. I need one of these houses on the river. So. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. I'm glad you got to see this.
All right, getting some hot dogs here. These are not coon dogs or hot dogs. This is my version of a catch clean cook. Yeah, Brad the Builder style. So yeah, not not quite the raccoon that I eat, but, but I'm sure I'm sure it'll work for lunch. You got enough. Yeah. I have enough. What kind little, of hot dogs are these? These are all beef. They're very healthy. My wife makes us eat healthy stuff. Okay. But you can mess them up with ketchup, mustard, and cheese. If we could do more of this on the river with the airboat. Yeah. Can you and buy some land on the river? Yeah, that would I, help. Maybe. Me. Yeah. This okay. makes this makes business meetings a little bit more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Being able to eat Just eat hot dogs and tour cabins. Get some ideas and even though my cabin's not on the river i feel like we've got some pretty good ideas based yeah. on the one that we saw this doesn't feel like work does it no it doesn't so, but I, i'm glad i uh kept you on the boat didn't mm. toss you off belt I, stayed I, on twice you almost did but oh did i really I mentioned that yeah. oh, that didn't make the film so no. all right the belt stayed on the boat we got hot dogs let's skate everybody come on over guys hey thanks for watching and we'll see you next time <laughs> <laughs>